Welcome to Venus Flytrap World. In today's video, I would like to share with you the top five beginner mistakes people make when growing Venus flytraps, plus two bonus tips. Venus flytraps are not extremely hard to care for, but due to their carnivorous nature, they can be quite tricky. To come up with this list, I actually browsed around the subreddits of Savage Garden and Venus flytrap, and I just wrote down the top mistakes that I could notice across those two threads. So here is the list. The first one is lack of sunlight. Venus flytraps need plenty of sunlight or artificial light to stay healthy. They need at least six hours of direct sunlight to be thriving and optimally 10 to 12 hours. If you're not providing enough sunlight, then your plants will start looking droopy, they might actually lose their colors and even stop producing traps because they are just light starved. The other big mistake I observed was placing Venus flytraps inside terrariums. Venus flytraps like the humidity inside terrariums, but they do not really thrive in these type of environments. They prefer to be outside, in the outdoors, with plenty of light and water and plenty of airflow. So if you're just getting started, please do not experiment with terrariums. The third mistake has to do with watering, and it is using the incorrect water. Most plants are very simple. You just grab some tap water and water your plants and that's it. With Venus flytraps, you cannot use tap water or bottled water. You have to use pure water sources, such as distilled water, reverse osmosis water, or rainwater. Anything else can end up killing your plant. So just make sure you use those pure water sources. The other big mistake that sometimes people make also has to do with watering, and it is not providing enough water. Venus flytraps really like humid environments and they need to be watered very, very often. They do not need to be soaked or swamped, but the soil must remain, hum must remain humid at all times. If it dries out, then your plant can die extremely quickly. So don't do that, just water it often. If you use the water tray method, it's very easy to keep the soil always at the right moisture level. And finally, the other mistake that I noticed was using the incorrect pot. Like for example, employing pots that leach minerals to the ground that can be very harmful for Venus flytraps. Like for example, clay pots and terracotta pots. Those pots are really beautiful, they look great, but they are not suitable for Venus flytraps. Instead, you can employ glazed ceramic pots or plastic pots, just any simple pot. Also, another mistake relating pots is to select a pot without drainage. You can grow Venus flytraps in pots without a drainage hole, but that is quite advanced. If you're just getting started, pick a pot with a drainage hole. That way you avoid, you avoid causing rot for your plant. If you like this list so far, I really appreciate if you hit that like button. It really helps the channel and it helps us spread all these videos to a wider audience. Now, the two bonus points. I have also noticed that a big beginner mistake is to employ the incorrect soil type. Venus flytraps require carnivorous plant soil that doesn't have any minerals or fertilizers. If you employ anything else, you can end up killing your plant. Another beginner mistake that I think is often overlooked is to overreact about black leaves. Like any other plant, Venus flytraps shed all leaves. And this process is completely normal. But when you are just a beginner, maybe it's your first Venus flytrap, you might freak out every single time that you see a black leaf and suddenly provide a lot more light, a lot more water, maybe start feeding your plant. And even though those actions are not necessarily harmful for your plants, those sudden changes can end up weakening your plant. And those are all the items I wanted to highlight today. Do not get discouraged if you have made any of these mistakes. I think almost everyone has made a mistake when they just got started growing carnivorous plants. And that is what this channel is about. It's about providing all of this information about care and projects for carnivorous plants and Venus flytraps. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, it'd be great if you can subscribe to the channel and join the community. Also, if you think I missed anything important or maybe just something you want to share about beginner mistakes, make sure to comment below and that way more people can have access to that information. Thank you so much for watching.